In this game dev battle, we ask the question, which game engine has the best prototyping tools to make a horror game level in just 60 minutes? Go. And cube. I'm starting with a landscape because it's the simplest of prototyping tools. You just go blip, 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 and you've got mountains. I'm gonna try my best to build a mansion and hollow it out from the outside in. I wonder if this is how professional level designers do it. I don't think anything we're doing will be classed as professional level designers. I didn't start with a floor, so I'm having to embarrassedly catch up by making a big circle to stand. <laughs> I'm gonna try to build a Luigi's Mansion-esque sort of mansion. I'm not sure exactly how far I'm gonna get. Have one or two rooms and a spooky hallway sort of thing. Sounds spooky. My idea was I wanted to make an interesting shape to show off that I can make an interesting shape. So I'm gonna make a bridge. And Rick has joined the underworld. Oh, I turned all my lights down really low so it looks horror-ish. But then when I go into my game to play it, I can't actually see anything. Uh, hmm. Made a bridge, forgot to put collision on it, fell through a bridge. Graham, did you build all that in engine? The CSG shapes in Godot, they aren't actually that good, but you can do a lot with them. <laughs> so just a big box, uh, turned a cylinder sideways, cut it out of the bottom, and now we've got a bridge with an underpass under it. Rick, what kind of tools are you using in Unreal? I'm using the modeling mode. What I start off with is just a single box like that. Just chopped out some holes, you go to cube grid, and I can highlight a certain part, and then I can push or pull so I could push 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 highlight this side push 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 and that allows me to just really quickly make these blocks what are you up to there steven what's so cool about pro builder is you can just immediately create these shapes it doesn't matter if it's a cylinder or a box or a circle or even like stairs for example it's really quick for prototyping if you actually know how to use it well i'm going to steal your idea and do some stairs that Please. was proprietary information you are not allowed to use stairs in your game i really struggle to make stairs <laughs> Does, uh, I, I does Godot not have like a make a stairs button? No, yeah, it would be really hard. Though. I think that should be that a requirement cool. of this battle. Everyone has to have stairs. All Maybe right, Godot I'll see you guys later. As... I'm out. <laughs> Maybe Godot is not as good as everyone thinks it is. One thing I'm trying to do here is put a second floor. Click on cube grid and then just highlight along here. And then I can just say, and then I've got a floor. Wait, it's voice activated when you go yeah, sometimes I go boop, 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 and it goes backwards. So, yeah, you have to concentrate. Yours looks like a prison, Rick. Not sure yet whether it's going to be a prison or a mental asylum. See, they've got they've got a bed, they've got a toilet. They <laughs> have a stone a bed. <laughs> it's made yeah, yeah. out of rocks. Hey, we're prototyping. I thought we were prototyping. Those poor people. Maybe that's why they're in the asylum. They're like, have you tried sleeping on a mattress? Hmm. I'm gonna like wander up along this path I'm just drawing and have the church over here and then make something interesting to wander around. Tim, I wanna show you something that I only just figured out how to do recently. That's a Boolean intersection. I've got two objects here that I've modeled. So one, two, click on Boolean and then see how it chops out the middle because that's my oh. other object. So I can hit accept. And now I have a sewer pipe. Yes. You're doing that the same dippy. thing Godot did like 20 minutes ago. You're enjoying all of the tools I use to build my bridge. That also hurt the way you said it 20 minutes ago. I may or may not be biased as a judge. Uh, why did I make my character walk so slow? Uh, trying to make it horror. I can't see what's going on. I just had an idea. I'm going to Shawshank this. You're going to escape through a pipe filled with poop. I'm not going to model the poop. Don't worry. That was awful. I wasn't going to say it. I'm doing my best here, Stephen. Is that a roof? Oh, it's trying to be. Well, that church looking good. Did you make all that with CSG shapes as well? Yeah. This is just a box. This is just a box. And then that's just a triangle, but elongated. Are those poop pipes at your entrance, Stephen? They weren't supposed to be, but if it'll, get it, it'll give me extra points, they're poop pipes. But no, they're supposed to just be cool pillars. You know what? I'll just take the L if it means I don't have to put poop pipes in. Looks like the headquarters cult of the sun. That's where we are. Oops. Oh, I keep forgetting that this is speed modeling. It's not precision. No one's ever going to run around in this level and be like, why is that thing not line up properly? All right, I think this is where I'm going to put just like a little a little obstacle that the player has to jump over. So I need some two by fours. Does this look like a two by four to you? Make it more two-ish and less four-ish, please. Pulling an audible, it's now a four by four. All right, it's a it's an officially a wood beam. Here, I'll even, re I'll re even rename it in my hierarchy. It's a wood beam. Nailed it. Rick is playing The Sims uh, Prison Edition. All these pipes that have just appeared, I'm like, I didn't put that there. 
I think I might have done something wrong. I like how your prison floats, Rick. All right, moment of truth. We're doing it again. Let's <laughs> check it out. All right, we got an obstacle on the top floor. We've got some lighting. We've got some lighting popping in through all my artifacts and my beautiful structural building. Ooh, another artifact right there. Who cares? It's okay. And then we're going to see if we can jump over this obstacle. Yes, parkour. I just broke all of my stairs by accidentally attaching all my platforms to my stairs. I guess the rule here is you have to pay attention. I added the environment with volumetric fog and now it's all come together. <laughs> he literally made Silent Hill in 30 minutes. I went into this challenge knowing that Bram was going to win in the YouTube comments. Bram is a better level designer and game developer than I am. You know what? And it's okay. You, he deserves to be. Love you, YouTube comments. <laughs> oh, that'll get some comments. Making comments about the comments. I went way too complex with my main building. It's you did have stairs. Yeah, Brand doesn't have stairs. No, nope, just an entire forest, volumetric fog, a bridge, a church, lighting. Wait, did you model those trees or did you cheat? It, it's a cylinder and a cone on top. Wow. Oh my good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that's a. <laughs> That, you, that if, really if you great. look at thank it's you cold. if you look at any one of them they won't be touching the floor because i like copy and pasted like a batch of about 10 at a time that's great you've got a spooky haunted forest is that a ghost this is my spooky moment you ready for this too spooky right you got the ghosts oh, in the mirror but you can't see them is that and, a hot dog uh, the man yes man camera it's <laughs> we're just at a hot dog i feel like you built a barn steven <laughs> my haunted mansion is turning into a barn <laughs> You got a flashlight, Rick? Got a flashlight. God, that looks so good. That's the first compliment you've given me in this whole thing. That was unreal, Rick. That was epic. Just don't. You're banned from all words. My guy goes too slow. This is going to take forever. What are they saying back to the future? Fly, you fools. Did you just confuse Wait. <laughs> back to the future with Lord of the Rings? We're going to offend so many people in this video. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm offended. My artwork on the back of my wall is literally the Shire, Rivendell, and uh, Minas Tirith, so... Is that an electric fence? Yeah, uh, that's just the path that I'm using to make the uh, actual walking path from. But uh, I kind of set it up like a fool, and so I'm having to drag every part of my path <laughs> down to ground level so it actually clips through the floor. I don't know quite enough about Bezier curves to ever use this well. <laughs> you dummy. You don't know about Bezier curves. How can you not know about Bezier curves? You <laughs> <laughs> Call yourself an instructor. I spin this circle and I don't know what it's doing. <laughs> you guys got 20 minutes left. Actually, you have 17. I don't know why it just... Well, I think we need another 20 minutes because you forgot to tell us about 20 minutes. I think maybe you should descope a little bit because that might save you some time. There's gotta be a way to, to like make this sort of shape a hot dog, right? You cut one of the ends and then you, you just stretch it out. Yeah, yeah, what he said. I am so far ahead, I bet he can make a hot dog. If you Without. make a hot dog, we're not friends anymore. Just taking, taking my spotlight. Bram, what am I looking at there? Is that an ice cube? I want to make it look like a gravestone. I figured, oh, I'll just throw some noise on it and it will look like mottled. But I think that's needlessly cute. I think I just need to make it a flat color. Add ramp. Boom. There's an add ramp button. There's an add ramp button, my friend. Even my ramps aren't that easy to make. <laughs> I've got to make a polygon and then extrude it. You know what's actually hilarious is I was making fun of you for using Bezier curves and now I'm going to try to use one to splatter some yes. mustard on my hot dog. And I don't yes. remember how to do it. <laughs> that looks like a half chocolate covered almond. It's like a hot dog pastry. Rick has now went from a prison to the entire 17 acres the prison is built on. Yeah, going a little bit overboard here. He's building a cornfield uh, that's adjacent working on the neighbor's house. So I've just been littering gravestones all around this graveyard and just realized this shows a total lack of understanding as to how graveyards work because there is no space for bodies under here. Rick, did you turn that into a lake house? Lakes are creepy, aren't they? So pretty. <laughs> That's supposed to be pretty. Rick too. accidentally built a vacation spot. I'm kind of trying to force the player upstairs, kind of create some natural obstacles and have this, you know what I need? I'm going to have another little light right here to guide the player. Oh, look who's building a forest now. I too can build a primitive, in Unreal is called an arrow. <laughs> so there's like a paint tool where you can paint those around? Yeah, you just paint them. Did Bram paint his? No. How long have we got? Five minutes and 21 seconds. 
I can make a jump scare in five minutes. Okay, okay. I haven't actually tested to see if I can walk through my poop pipe. Oh, I've got to put ground where I need to walk. Ah, oh, disaster. You got two minutes and 30 seconds, so I would definitely test your level, make sure it's collision free. All right, testing, testing, because I did actually add some collision, so I'm glad you said that, because that could have been a disaster. Ooh. <laughs> it's a pretty good ghost sound. Five, four, <laughs> good enough. three, two. Oh my God, he actually added a lake house. Hands up. Hands up, Rick. I can see you cheating. <laughs> that was tough. So, Bram, show us what you made. But if we start off, we get the first thing I made here, which is my bridge. And as we go through here, we'll get to a little pass, and we'll see some more lights in the distance. And that is our spooky church. And there is a note on the door saying, Out for lunch. Key out back. XOXO. Through the graveyard, which is backed full of these graves and there's a little winding path we can go on trying to make our way to the back to find this key and at the end of the path here wait for it ah! <laughs> no way <laughs> dude that was incredible what i've got going on here is a insane asylum this is the road to enter in and got a bit of a lake and and reveal down there so you start off as the player you've woken up you're in one of the rooms, you don't know what's going on, you can go upstairs to explore, you can go down this way to explore. Eventually, you pick up a flashlight somewhere around here that's lying on the ground, you run downstairs through here. This is like a maintenance area, you're looking around and you find that there's a pipe, Shawshank Redemption style. You're gonna walk through the sewage pipe, you're like, yay, freedom. And then you find that there's a path out here, there's a little lake house, you're looking around, creepy stuff. There's nothing inside of here, but when you get outside, you turn around, and you've got the jump That's scare. That's terrifying. <laughs> what is that thing? I'm not expecting that. <laughs> the interior environment was like complex in a way I'd struggle to do. So we walk in and we see some boxes and some pillars and some benches that we all built with Pro Builder. And I think actually this bottom room kind of came together nicely with a little bit of texturing. And then we walk up these spooky stairs and we've got our first obstacle, parkour. And we jump over this and then we have a little bit of a snack. What is this? Wow, well, there's a bunch of hot dogs. Well, we turn left and we've got another obstacle and we don't see any ghosts in our main camera, but <gasps> what's that? You get to the end and it's not so much of a jump scare, but we've got a spooky mirror where you can only see the ghosts in the mirror, but not actually in the scene itself. And it turns out you were the ghost after all. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I wanted to add, you see some sort of pig carcass. Oh God, that's terrifying.